What's up, y'all? Over here, goddamn, caught a door fan, motherfucker, peach tree. This is the model right here. North Ave Model Station, AT and T building. I don't know what fucking building that motherfucker is. You see a little bit more sights and shit. This church across the street is actually some type of motherfucking shelter or something. They do something like that. You see a motherfucker they sleep on the bench. Normal shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might think y'all life fucked up, but you know. Y'all niggas ain't sleeping outside, now that's fucked up right there. Now that ain't saying all motherfuckers ain't sleeping outside is fucked up, cause real nigga shit. A lot of them sleep outside cause they choose to sleep outside. A lot of them do this shit cause this is what they wanna do, you know what I'm saying? But you never know a nigga story unless you really sit down, talk to them, and understand their story. Cause you know you can talk to a nigga, nigga be telling you some bullshit. Speaking of which, I think today's discussion should be about bullshit. You know, a lot of niggas will talk, you know, and talk you to death, you know, and a lot of niggas is good talkers and they just yap, 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 all that bullshit. But don't got action behind their words. And, you know, a lot of y'all say y'all suffer a lot of problems if y'all really take into account people bullshit and judge them about their actions and not just their words. You know, like saying, for example, you know, this simple shit like getting into relationships or friendships or trusting somebody with something. You know, sometimes you got to test people first to make sure they'll be worthy of certain things. You know, so you can call it fuckery or whatever the case you may be. You can call it, you know, trying a motherfucker. But not saying in no disrespectful type way or no way to be detrimental to a person, but you should test people to make sure they're going to be worthy of your relationship, your friendship, your trust, you know what I'm saying? And tests could be small things, like you could say, for example, ladies, niggas, you got a new boyfriend, girlfriend, you want to see how trustworthy it is, leave out something that, you know, somebody would probably take that was a thief or something, but, you know what I'm saying, just leave it out, something that you wouldn't normally, you know, lose or something, like leave a dollar or two out, see if it's still there. You know, see if a motherfucker takes it some a nigga has enough decent to come to you or give it to you. That shows a big part right there, you know. It's simple shit though. You got to understand how people think and whether or not they can be trustworthy or not. You just can't take people word off face values, you know what I'm saying. Whether it's in a relationship or it's in the street or to some life period, you know what I'm saying? Because you take people off face value, people will fuck you every time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know how to put on the character of being somebody that's representable and at the same time fuck you over. Because a lot of people judge books by this cover. I'll give you an example. You know, I never made it, I never graduated high school. I flunked kindergarten. I never made it no further than ninth grade in high school. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I got a 3.86 GPA last time I checked, and I'm smarter than a fifth grader nigga. I'm a tax preparer. I'm an aspiring legal professional and accountant, clerical work, management, supervision, office work, you know, I specialize in shit like that. I have a whole slew of specialties, you know what I'm saying? But judging the book by its cover, would you think that? I mean, would you think judging the book by its cover that I would have all these specialties and all these qualities? No. You know, that's a plus and it's a minus, you know. It's a plus, I feel like, for me because it allows me to pretty much let People think they're playing on my intelligence and in the same sense play on their intelligence by people underestimating me. It's a bad thing in a sense because in this society right here, in order for me to be seen as certain things, I must change up my character, change up my demeanor, change up my style, change up my swag. And I refuse to do that. It's a pretty thing. So, you no. Know, but I don't feel like a cover is shit. A cover is just what it is. A cover, it covers up something. I'll give you the real quality. It's indirect in your face. You know, 
I don't want my book to have a false cover. So I give you the real cover. This is me. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing to cover up. You know what I'm saying? And the people want to underestimate me because of the way I look. So be it. Be a fool. Because you are the fool. Not me. I'm not going to change up what I do or how I feel or how I want to live to fix anybody else's characteristics or anybody else's ideas of what a person of those supposed qualities supposed to maintain. Because I don't give a fuck. Niggas tell me, oh, you got to cut your dreads. You want to be a lawyer? Suck my dick. I ain't got to cut shit. There's plenty of lawyers out here with dreads. There's a bunch of idiots that cut their shit thinking they had to do that shit. The bar don't give a fuck about your dress. The bar gives a fuck about your character and your scores. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'm out. I'm done talking to y'all. Peace out. Have a nice night.